So the highlights of our first Euro Formula race of 2022, and it was a terrible start for Josh Mason. Issues with his car. Christian Mansell capitalising on a poor start for Oli Goethe to take the lead. The Van Amersfoort crew, though, they got a little too involved. Philippe Ugrand around at turn two, and that was the end of his race before it even really began. We got back to green flag conditions, and it was Christian Mansell that led them away. Oliver Goethe began the not insignificant task of carving his way through the Euro Formula Open grid. He got around Alex Peroni uh, here at turn one. Uh, that was a favourite overtaking spot of his. And there was plenty of fighting in and around Peroni. And unfortunately, the other drive X car of uh, Nicolas Pino ended up spinning around at turn three. Then we had Fred Lubin having to hold off Sebastian Ogard as the race progressed. But eventually, Ogard found a way through. Bit of a lockup as he went through the Parabolica interior. But he managed to make it stick and move up to third place. It was something that he had to do in timely fashion because Oliver Goethe was closing in. Goethe dispatched Frederick Lubin and did not get any retaliation from the British driver. And not too long later, he made his way through into third place with a great move around the outside of turn six that he finished at turn seven. Christian Mansell, however, pretty much unchallenged once we got back to green flag conditions and the Australian took a commanding victory and celebrated it as he well should.